Prospect presents YouTube News. So recently, popular YouTuber Kane Carter was exposed for stealing material from deceased comedian Patrice O'Neal. But beside the Kane Carter situation, I'd like to address something that's more important in today's world, like prostitution. I don't understand why prostitution is illegal. Why should prostitution be illegal? Selling is legal. Fucking is legal. Why isn't selling fucking legal? I don't get it, you know? But I won't pretend to care about it so much because what I'll most likely do is talk. I'm not a fighter. I'm not that guy. And I won't act like I am. I've seen too many bad things happen. I saw my dad get knocked out one time. I was 13. Traumatized me. He's got hit my dad twice in the same spot. Twice in the same spot. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Quickest Quickest two punches I've ever seen in my life. So when a topic of stolen material arises, it doesn't mean much to me. Remember when you were a kid and you thought there were real grown-ups? You got sent to your room and you told yourself, one day I'm going to be a grown-up and everything is going to make sense. Then one day you're like 25 at the supermarket and the bag boys calls you sir and you're like, what the fuck? Listen, I know what you must be thinking right now. Can I be trusted? Is this sentence that I'm reading to you right now an original thought, or did I just rip it off of someone else? Let's get away from that thought for a second. Let me ask you this. What constitutes stealing? Is it the act of it or the lack of reference? Jay-Z never made it a secret that he used lines from Big and others. In fact, you must have had an extra chromosome if you suspected otherwise. But there's a huge difference between Jay and Big, Kane and Patrice. Homages like Jay's are considered okay because he knew the deceased person. Kane's tribute is considered hacky because not only did he not give credit when committing the act of theft, he also didn't know the deceased party. So basically, he's making his own terms and conditions over someone else's dead body. Now, Kane said he took the material in hopes of getting attention from Patrice's former radio partner, Dante Nero, who, by the way, has 3,000 Twitter followers just to give you some indication that he shouldn't be that hard to get a hold of. I built my whole career on the back of another man's work. So if your theory is correct, why has it taken 119 videos, 600,000 subscribers, 95 million channel views, and a period of almost five years for niggas to just start saying something Monday? How the fuck have I been flying under the radar for this goddamn long? Well, Kane, if history has shown us anything, it's that dishonesty has a grace period to flourish. Lance Armstrong, Alex Rodriguez, Bernie Madoff, Enron, Ariel Castro, he got away with kidnapping three women and held them captive for 10 years. Point is, the amount of time that it took to unveil the truth about your joke stealing doesn't make you any less dishonest. And if you believe that somebody with 90,000 followers on Twitter was desperately trying to get the attention of someone with only three, then you'll believe anything. I think you can take someone's material and make it your own. Anyone who has ever tried to create anything understands that everything that will be created was derived from the past. If you've ever sat down and tried to write an essay, a song, a letter, you would know what it feels like when someone copies. I mean, I know Patrice inspired motherfuckers, but to just straight just copy? Straight copy? It's only a matter of time before niggas is looking at you like that. You sound you just sound like the just nigga like that the said that, that shit last, last week. week. And by I no means, means am I trying, trying to discourage anyone from doing YouTube. from doing YouTube. All I'm saying is you need to find your own voice. I, I told, told you a long, long time, time ago. There is no individuality. There I go again. Kane lied. He's still talented, but he made his own terms and conditions over Patrice O'Neal's dead body of work. I told you a long time ago, there is no individuality if your idea of being different is to follow the trend. Message!